Good morning, Louisa Whitney here. And this video is entitled, A Really Bold Idea. For the simple reason that I think what I'm going to talk about is really bold. And I, I, I really appreciate that in making this video, some people are going to watch it and say, well, that's just way too bold. That's just way, way over the top. I can't even contemplate that right now. And that's completely okay. What I wanted to talk about is the idea that potentially people can be in a better place post-separation than they were before the separation happened. And I don't mean immediately afterwards. Sometimes immediately afterwards it can be, particularly where there's been violence or things like that involved but I mean in the longer term. And if you're someone who's recently had a separation thrust upon you, it can be a really, really hard ask to think that your life might be better in the future because it's a future that you hadn't wanted, hadn't even thought about, can't get your head round, probably don't even want to think about. But what I wanted to say in this video is that even where a separation comes as a shock, which it can do in a number of cases, perhaps the relationship wasn't that happy. It may have felt it to you, but if one person was so unhappy that they have instigated a separation, then what you thought was happy may well have been on based on a misunderstanding or a lack of communication or not shared common themes. And it's something that it's not easy to contemplate because it's, it's shaking the rug out from under someone's feet. And I know that's a cliche, but I think for a lot of people that's, what's it, that's what it feels like because whereas you thought you had your feet on solid ground, Suddenly it's like you're being moved around by waves or something like that. But one of the things that I really urge people to look at is what their future is going to look like and whether in some way it might be better than what they had before. And if you can't see that yet, don't think you'll ever see that, that's perfectly okay. But sometimes a glimmer breaks through, just a really small something. For example, when you were in your marriage, you may have always used cups and saucers to have a cup of tea. And you've always thought, do you know what, actually, I'd prefer a mug. There might be a tiny glimmer come through that when you are in your own home and you're living on your own home, when the separation has been done, you will always have a cup of tea in a mug. And it's an incredibly small thing. And there may be so many things that seem that they will be worse. But if there's just one thing that you can cling on to in the future, then that's starting to build a future that may be better, where you are in control, where you make decisions. And that's the start of a really important journey of defining what your new future is going to look like and how you're going to make it yours. And you might not be able to work out how it's going to stack up financially, how you're going to manage on your own, how you're going to manage all your bills. There may be huge, huge numbers of unanswered questions at the moment. But if you can start to have that one thing that you cling on to, one, one thing, then that's the start of you shaping your own future and what that's going to look like. And that's the start of, of a really powerful thing and something that I really believe everyone who separates will reap the benefit of that kind of thought process. So I hope that's given you food, food for thought. Uh, I hope that it encourages a thought process. If you do want to get in touch with me, then please do so via the website lkwfamilymediation.co.uk or you can follow us on Twitter at LKW Fam Med, or we also have a Facebook page, LKW Family Mediation, and I try and put out lots of interesting pieces of information and articles and things like that for 
people who've separated that may be helpful. Thank you.